Queensland. So from 6 p.m. tonight until 6 p.m. on Friday, South East Queensland will go into lockdown. Have those flights down. We're going to go now. So here's the deal guys, uh, it is Tuesday afternoon, very different to a normal trip to the thrift on a Thursday, but uh, the Gold Coast is going into a three day lockdown due to the coronavirus, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, and therefore the trip to the thrift would not be able to go ahead. Fortunately, at two o'clock on a Tuesday afternoon, I have found out about this information, and the one thing that I don't wanna do is let you guys down by not bringing you a weekly trip to the thrift episode. So guys, we've got three hours, we've got three hours to find as much heat as we possibly can to make this a really cool video, and to give me a few items to list, while I'm sitting there in three days worth of lockdown. So let's dive into the first one. 180 minutes, can I find some cool stuff? Let's go and find out. Smash the like button, wish me luck, we'll see you in there. Just like that, guys, we are underway. We've got the Gavinci Paris t-shirt to kick us off. $10. Wasn't sure if this was fake or genuine, so I have gone ahead and left it behind. I'm always looking in the hats, guys. I found the Hawaii 5 -0, but check this out. A Boston Celtics New Era all-over print hat. This is a very, very cool snapback hat. Have a look at the embroidery. Look at the back there with the logo as well. This is something you don't see every day. And for $5, I'm very, very happy to pick this one up, guys. Also found a couple of Ned Kelly uh, uh, t-shirts. These were pretty cool as well. So I've gone ahead and picked these up. One was $5. Then there was a second print here that you'll see in a second that was uh, pretty much, I think, $4 in the end as well. I really like that all over. That was the Kelly Gang t-shirt, all three of them. So uh, I have picked that one up too for four bucks. But um, all in all, guys, the clothing was pretty slow in this op shop. I did find some really good shoes. Now have a look at this. This, to the untrained eye, would be absolutely nothing. But to myself as a sneakerhead, I'm absolutely loving this one. This is the Gel Kayano 21s. They actually comp for about $150 in used condition. Already had an offer on it for $140 and I declined. So for $5, I'm really happy to pick this one up. And then the other one as well was the Gel Kayano 24s. I've gone ahead and grabbed these as well. To be honest, I am denied. They were only $5, but as you'll see in a second, the soles were pretty average. But I'm going to list these ones up for $40 free postage. Otherwise, if they were in good condition, they would have been worth about $80. But um, given the wear, I'll go with $40 bucks and we'll see how we go. But guys, have a look at those two pairs of shoes to kick off the day. Wowie. So we got super lucky with the shoes. Um, the shoes were basically, somebody else was looking at them and they were about to take them and they didn't have enough money. And sure enough, I've been able to strike. I bought both pairs, $5 a piece. I know the second pair wasn't that great, but I still think I'm gonna be able to push about 30 bucks for it. Um, and then the other ones, these ones here, those should go for about, I don't know, maybe 50 or 60. Really good pair, the Kianos. Um, let's keep going. Time is ticking. Op shot run at number two, come right up. All right, guys, I've jumped into the next Lifeline store and I'm feeling pretty good about things here. Jumped into the men's section and had a look into the clothing and I've been able to find this really, really nice polo shirt, Abercrombie and Fitch, all over back print. This was a really nice one, fully embroidered in excellent condition, as you can see there. Guys, I didn't know what the size was of this one. It was quite large though, I'm thinking large or extra large. Uh, and for $5, I really couldn't pass this one up. The Nike Air Max Bruin skateboarding shoes. The shoes have come through with the goods for me in this store, guys. I've only paid $5 for it. And as you can see, the soles are in pretty good condition. So that is coming away with me. I've also found this Columbia windbreaker jacket. This is a women's large, uh, nice little red color there. Look, uh, $25, that is pretty expensive, but I do think I can turn it into about 65, so I've taken it. Oh, uh, Gucci, Gucci in the thrift. Are you kidding? I ended up leaving these ones behind as well guys ten dollars and couldn't tell if they were genuine and i also found the jordans as well do love to find myself a pair of jordans in the thrift but for 20 bucks and uh, a bit of wear on the sole i ended up i ended up leaving these as much as i do love finding and buying jordans when i'm out in the thrift i didn't see the value in those uh columbia windbreaker jacket the polo shirt and the bruin skateboarding Hey guys, going really well so far. We're two op shops down. We've got about an hour and a half left until the shops close and I've done my two, two op shops so far. So eight great items as you would have seen, but I really want to try and round it out with another maybe 15, 10 to 15 items. That'd be awesome. Um, so we'll keep charging. We'll see how we go. I'm just around the corner from the third one. We'll see you in there. 
All right, guys, I'm back in the menswear, having a look around, and I've been able to find this Oakland Raiders NFL football Nike dry fit t-shirt. Now, this is a really cool piece, uh, only only $4, so I've had to grab it. I do like finding anything in the NFL merchandise. It generally goes on to sell well for me. The Nike Air Monarchs, the grandpa shoes, all black, brand new, like new condition, an excellent pair of shoes, guys, and I was really umming and ahhing. Whether or not to go ahead and make this purchase, it was $20, and uh, they do comp on eBay for about 70 or 80 bucks. So I've um denied about this one, had a bit of a think, and uh, well, I won't let you know just yet, but um, they were a pretty cool pair of shoes, let's put it that way. Um, kept digging through the shoes, and I also managed to find myself a pair of Jordans. Now, these were a really nice pair of Jordans. They were in a little bit more worn condition. Uh, they were, again, another $20, but given the wear, and uh, the resale value on eBay actually wasn't as strong as I thought it would be. As much as I love picking up Jordans, this is the second pair on this thrift run that I've been able to find that I've had to also leave behind. Uh, I do love my cycling shoes as well, guys. There is some very good money in the cycling shoes. Northwave is a pretty good brand as well. So for 20 bucks, again, probably not so much in the sense of resale value. So I did leave those behind. But guys, two items, Raiders and the Air Monarchs is what I grabbed. I was only able to get two uh, items in that last stop shop, as you would have seen. So I'm going to jump into another one and still class this as the third run. So hopefully we can get a few more. Hey, huge shout out to those of you who watch my daily vlog in Tuesday's video. You would have seen me pick up this Nana Judy jumper. Not exactly this one, but it was a maroon and it was a women's size small. That jumper out of that video went on to sell for $40. I found the exact same jumper here. However, it is in much more worn condition than that one was. So for that reason, even though it was only the $8, I have left it behind, but a great brand to be looking out for, guys. Guys, the shoe section absolutely smacked in this store. I've been able to find the Merrill hiking boots. These are in pretty much light new condition for $25. These Merrills, this brand of shoe, can go for a very, very high price on eBay on a consistent basis. So for that reason, guys, I have actually forked out the $25 and picked those ones up. These were basically, well, they are. Have a look at them. They're a pair of brand new Nike. Uh, I don't exactly know what type of Nike shoes, but $45 in the thrift store, uh, no thank you. I think I'll leave those ones behind, but nonetheless, a great pair of shoes. Also to another pair of brand new Asics. This was basically a retail store, guys. I don't know what or who is dropping off shoes that are brand new into the thrift, but for $45, to be honest with them, that's a fairly priced shoe because it is a, a brand new shoe. So the Merrells were definitely the best of the bunch in my opinion, and I have gone ahead and purchased those, but I also found the Nike Air Max 95s. Guys, these sell for some very good money on eBay. There was a $25 tag on them, as you'll see in a second, there it is right there. And let me know in the comments, would you have purchased this for 25 bucks, the Air Max 95s? I've also found these Nike basketball shoes that I thought were in pretty good condition as well. Had the uh, the Lunar Soles on them as well. They were a pretty cool shoe. Again, a little bit of wear on the sole, and for 25 bucks, couldn't do it. I'm going to call that the end of op shop run number three. I've only got the three items for that run, so we're up to 11 for the day. I do want to do one more run, obviously. I've got 30 minutes left on the clock, and I want another nine items, so it's going to have to be a really big finish here. Guys, I am scanning the last op shop run of the day and have a look at this hardwood classics. Michael Jordan, number 23, Chicago Bulls jersey. This is an absolute relic. For $8, I almost considered, even with the fade, buying it. But in the end, guys, reluctantly, man, I've put a lot of good stuff back on the shelves today. This Billabong wetsuit as well for $25, a real crispy piece in excellent condition. And guys, I, I should have bought this. This was a Jats cracker. There'd be good, some good money made. It was a women's size uh, 10 uh, in excellent condition no uh, issues with the quality whatsoever but guess what yet again i have left it behind this is uh one that i didn't leave behind though this was the heli hansen hiking pants it was an eight dollar purchase a size small these um really high performance uh hiking pants can go for some great money guys so i have picked this one up look for the brand in the winter sports range heli hansen goes on to sell for some pretty good money had a good look around the rest of the op shop guys and to be honest it was pretty slim pickings in here unfortunately and the clock was ticking as you know, the Adams family, uh, look, a really cool plush. I always look for plush. But guys, the clock is ticking. We have struck lockdown. And unfortunately, I need to get out of here or else I am going to get into a whole lot of trouble. All right, guys, only the one item secured in the final run of the day. Unfortunately, my time is out. We have literally hit 4.30 when all of the shops close. Heli Hansen is a very good brand. It's a pair of outdoor hiking pants, plain black. Women's size small, and I reckon I'll be able to get well over the $8 price point when I go to sell it on eBay. But 
I did want to get 20 items today. I've only come away with 12. You can't buy every single item you see, especially when some of them were really highly priced, like a few of those shoes at $45. I've said uh, yes to a couple of shoes, the Monarchs and the, the Merrells I bought for $25. Then there were a few other pair of $25 shoes. It was a real give or take. You could have grabbed them, like the 95s, the, the Air Max 95s. Um, so it's always when you're playing around that 20 to $25 price point, you've got to know that you can get that $75 to $80. And uh, fingers crossed, I could do that with the two that I bought, but obviously maybe some dollars left on the table in the thrifts uh, that I did pass on. But that's the game. It's part of the fun. It's why I wanted to run out and do this video with literally only an hour and a half left before we go into a three-day lockdown with the coronavirus. But uh, it has been a lot of fun. It gives me a few items to list up and sell on eBay to keep me ticking along until we're back at it on Saturday. Thank you very much for being here. Like I said, guys, I'm going to keep doing these trips to the thrifts no matter what. Nothing can get in the way. Not even a three-day snap lockdown. We're going to be out. We're going to be in the trenches. We're going to be finding a heap of thrifted items. And uh, I've done that today, kind of. 12 items. I'm happy about it. Thanks for tuning in, guys. We'll see you in the next. I'll just go anyway. Um, hey guys, one item, unfortunately. Oh man, not while he's doing that.